COVID-19 has been a timely reminder that our health is precious, but our systems are fragile. Experts predict the pandemic will prompt a rise in AMR worldwide, as antibiotics are widely used to treat secondary bacterial infections in COVID-19 patients. Antibiotics only work against bacteria, not against viruses such as the one that causes COVID-19. So it's important that our communities only use antibiotics when needed. And to help ensuring this, we need country-level policy to ensure that people receive the treatment they need from qualified healthcare workers while being discouraged from self-medication. The difference between AMR and COVID-19 is that the AMR pandemic is here, but goes mostly unnoticed because infections with AMR are like a multitude of small fires scattered across Europe and the world that are much less visible than the current monster firestorm that is COVID-19. Microorganisms, and especially also antimicrobial resistance, follows the patient. One of the most important transmission ways is the mobility of patients within our healthcare systems. Europe is too big to have at the same time everywhere the same measures. The action will start on a regional level where everything starts. And the better you are in combining, thinking on EU level, facilitating on member states level and acting on the regional level, the better we will be um, in responding to infectious disease. It is urgent to establish at the European level indicators and targets to monitor the progress of the European Action Plan against uh, antimicrobial resistance and to support member states with the monitoring of the National Action Plan with a one health perspective. Only by collecting and sharing the right data, we will be able to gain more insights also in the scientific backgrounds of antimicrobial resistance. We have to make sure that we have not a complete shift in AMR activities towards uh, COVID, that you know all the partnerships, all the initiatives that we launched over the last 10 years get not lost because of this huge pandemic. What is my high expectation is that we will be able to reuse uh, what we have built uh, for the COVID-19 research for antimicrobial resistant research. Current public health actions are not enough to tackle the present AMR situation in the EU and our efforts to prevention and control for AMR can certainly learn from the COVID-19 pandemic. The National Action Plan on AMR that each country should have in place should consequently be implemented even in the current situation. Amid COVID-19, we have rapidly become familiar with the reality that nobody is safe until everybody is safe. We must work together to ensure we do not roll from one global health catastrophe into the next.